So, I've got a new 3D printed airplane to make. And here it is. Well, this will be it when I get done with it. Uh, this one is called the Model Y from EclipseInAirplanes.com. Uh, and uh, this is a very interesting design. It's kind of really neat looking. It's not any, of anything in particular, but it's just kind of a sexy design. It's about 40 inch wingspan and uh, it's got some interesting features on it. I really look forward to making it and putting it together. So uh, without any further delay, let's get her done. So, with the printing guide as reference, I started with the nose. This model uses thin shell type printing, so set your slicer settings accordingly. The fuselage pieces fit together very well, and assembly was quick using medium CA and spray accelerator. Once the fuselage was completed, it was on to the wing, starting with the center section. I didn't pay attention to the video instructions and neglected to remove some of the printing artifacts before trying to assemble the wing. A bit of trimming with a knife and pliers rectified the situation. Like the fuselage, all the pieces keyed together quite well and was self-aligning. For the control surfaces, be sure to have the first few layers of the bottom solid. For the nose gear, I decided to print the two halves with 100% infill for a little extra durability. You are given two options for the wheel fork, depending on if you want to go with a screw or a small wire axle. A little bit of sanding to smooth the seams, then snap in the pivot axle with some pliers. The nose gear is designed to absorb bumps via rubber band shock absorber. Very clever. After test fitting the pivot arm, I glued in the rear bushing to the fuselage. Next was the installation of the wing hold down clips, which I printed in ABS for extra durability. They both glue on and screw into the fuselage sides. Add an easy connector from the scrap parts box, then install the nose gear. A short piece of music wire locks the arm into place. I also printed the main landing gear in ABS for extra strength. This was the only part that needed support on the printer. So some trimming and sanding was necessary before bolting onto the fuselage. Have I mentioned I really like the nose gear? For the motor, I decided to scavenge, or I mean borrow, a 900 kV Scorpion motor from a damaged model which matched the stash recommended by the Eclipse and people. Once again, I used ABS instead of PLA for the motor mount, but it was for better heat resistance instead of just improved strength. The motor mount simply screws in with four screws. You'll know the mount is in correctly when you can see a little bit of right thrust. Glue in the fuselage servo mounts, then install the 9 gram servos. Then do the same for the two wing servos. So I've been making really good progress on the construction of the Eclipse, and in fact I've, I've pretty much I've done the, with the construction, and now I've come to the point where I need to hook up the control surfaces. And when it comes to hinging material, the company recommends something very unusual. In that case, it's duct tape, like this. In fact, I went to the uh, my local Home Depot store and picked up some white duct tape, and just to match the uh, colors of the filament of course since it's a white plane and I thought that would be neat and less painting to do and so I will use what they recommend I've never done that before but uh, it shouldn't be too much unlike regular taped hinges on some of the other planes just that I've never used duct tape but I guess in theory it sounds pretty good because it has cloth embedded in it so let's give it a shot and see how it works ah duct tape tool of the gods slice off a piece into two halves lengthwise Add some CA near the hinge line. Add 
Then install the control surfaces. Quick and easy. So I got the duct tape hinges mounted and you know what? I think this just might work pretty good. It's It, it sounded kind of cheesy, but uh, it, it actually feels pretty good. It looks like it's got a good strong hold on it at the, the CA like they recommended. And uh, I think this just might work. In fact, I didn't even, don't think I need to put any on the bottom. Usually I like to put tape on top and bottom, but this actually looks like it'll do just fine just the way it is. And so I think we'll just continue on with the tail surfaces and finish her up. I used a combination of music wire with Z-bands and easy connectors to connect the control surfaces to the servos. I'm a big fan of easy connectors, which make adjustments easy. Get it? Get it? The files for the 3D printed wheels are included, so I decided to use them. Screws and bent music wire are used for axles. With that, it's just a matter of hooking up the receiver and speed controller, and you are done. Rubber bands hold the wing in place. Oh yeah, the battery hatch. Can't forget that. Now, we have a plane.